What's going on everybody? It's Ryan here from Brickerton and today it's video two of the remodeling Brickerton. So as you can see here, and if you are a member of Motorola YouTube community group, you'll see that the junction, the west junction, all of this here, has had to be remodeled. So for instance, this auto coach here that is coming, hold on, it will be coming in a second. So this auto coach here you can get around the corners without any hassle. Oh, it's just come off the trap. That's, that was my fault. I'm just going to show you and tell you what's happening. So, as you know about the brick tunnel mouth from Wills, here's one built up. Oh my god. Here's one built up. It probably showed you this in the last video. But these are actually going to go here. Well, one's going to go here, and one's going to go nearly parallel. Perhaps not. Um, and there's going to be like a valley type thing around it. Just to add a bit more interest into the layout itself. Um, and then, well, we've got a plain wall. So I guess there's only one thing for it. We're adding a back scene to it. It's a Gage Master one. Uh, countryside back scene large. So there's actually nine foot of back scene in this. So it's the next day now. And as you can see here, we've installed the back scene today. So the back scene is in and it looks good. Obviously, you're not going to be able to see it all because of the hills that will be going up there. But um, we had a few disasters. And one of them was our distance signal had the back scene fall on it and it snapped in half. In fact, it snapped into three pieces. And as you can see, the rail is a big mess at the moment. But what I've come on to show you is we went to the model shop today and we bought. So we bought one bag of ballast, two bag of ballast, some blended turf, which has gone up 50p, some static grass 4mm, £4.95, which is dark green and static grass light green 4mm, £4.95, and some... Flemish Bond, which was £3.95, you get four pieces, and we also bought a distance signal, so we replaced it and that with that one there, and a pre-owned motorised LMS home signal as well, coming in at £15 a piece. Um, the ballasting is done here, it's complete here. Need to weather the track now, so I'll mix up some whatever it's called trap sleeper grime, and then that's what all I use. I just spray it up and down all the way along. Um, and our first tunnel mouth is in as well. Well, it's not in, but it's it's there. It's ready to be worked with. So we've got our. Uh, sleeper grind which we're just going to tip in we don't need much of it it's coming slowly I'll just, I'll just persuade it out with one of my steers plenty get 
bit of finish. Tip a bit in, stir her up. So we'll just do this little section for now. So as you can see there, wherever it is, see, yep, I've started to weather the, tr um, the rail itself with some humbrel rust wash and all I'm doing is a thin brush, I'm just doing, stroking it along and well, just leaving a, a good look because my wooden scenic rust pen thing ran out. When it run out, the nib just seems to go on it too quick, so I've resorted back into this stuff. So, just go along it. You don't need a lot of it, a lot of the stuff. heater on now because it's gone cold if that's what you can hear but one brush stroke gets you quite quite a distance and it doesn't matter about putting it on top of the rail because we'll just wash that off afterwards So you just carry on going along. I've moved the tunnel back, mouth back a little bit as well. So I've got to get the spray out again. Just put a little bit more on. That can wait for a bit. Don't need doing straight away. You can see where I've been, or where I've gone up to. But yeah, I'll just add the last little bit down here. So it's just them little effects, which obviously you can't see on the camera too well. But I can see it very well. And, well, it's all along here. And it just makes the rail look, just makes the railway look a lot better in general, really. So then obviously you get your fingers out and you just... Uh, What nobody realises, I've got yards and yards and yards of track to do, so that's probably why I don't go into too much detail, but I'm going to start going into a lot of detail. I've got to <coughs> start making, start putting the newspaper down for the hills as well now. Um, so. Just see these couple of these two wagons here. Oh, oh, bring them into shop there. 
looks for looks the part really now. We could do with just putting a little bit of um well now actually, you know. I was gonna say put a little bit of black in between the rails but I don't think it really needs it. It looks fairly grimy without it. Doesn't it? So we'll see how we do with that. Let's put the end back on the uh, paintbrush. It's just the hardest job putting it back in the bloody plastic. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have a look on the internet for some more scenic items as well. But that's not it for this video, don't panic. I'll be moving on up, up the top in a minute. So we're here down at the other end of the garage slash layout. And, uh, well, as you can see, we've cut all this area out as well. Um, let me get the clippers. Wait, can I? Uh, I need the clippers and the chisel. So chisel and the clippers. <coughs> right. So you might be able to see a couple of rips in the the uh, scene, but we didn't have any choice of. The concrete's hard in here, and we were trying to nail it through because there's no other way of fixing it unless we use no nails. But it just take a lot of effort. We'll have to go buy some no nails, etc., etc., etc. So as you can see there, there's a hole. But I can work my magic, hopefully, and uh, we'll have. put some blue paint on it or something, you won't be able to see it from a distance. So what we do obviously is we just get some get a piece of paper make like a what I used to call snowball effect. We're not going too high with this one. masking tape actually behaved itself I'll get it from a lot quicker so we just wrap it up pull it in you know we can rearrange them I'll just make a ton of these off screen and uh, well they'll be there in literally a second so there we go there's some there Right, and now we're going to arrange them so they look correct. Kind of just want to go level with this trap, really. Shallower in places. <clears throat> so I make my hills out of newspaper. The majority of the old ones weren't, they were made out of uh, chicken wire and no, nah, it's not good enough. So it does fit together quite easily. You know, to make smaller ones, just, I'm not going to cover these in tape because we'll need to adjust these ones. an even smaller one to go in this gap here you see that's kind of how I go about making uh, making these uh, these hills 
yeah we've got we've got to be careful putting it putting the plaster on because of obviously the back team being there but if we make up the majority of the hill with this we won't have to put a thick layer of uh, sculpting mold on so if we make the hill look like we want it to with newspaper we'll be able to just put the sculpting mold right over the top of it Will help help with the cost. Perhaps you want to go in a bit here, like that. You know, just a bit of interest to the scenery. Like I say, we'll just we'll tape it down. But I'll tape it down now and just show you for an example. So you get your piece of tape. Obviously, it's gonna have to be perfect. They'll probably get in the way taping this down. But if you just wanna. Tuck it wherever you can. Don't forget there'll be ballast on top, so you'll never be able to see the tape. The ballast sculpting, you know, all that sort of stuff on top. We're coming in a bit here, so we will make sure it looks like it's coming in a bit, which it is. It just makes the structure of the hill, if you know what I mean. You want a few dips in it, like what right there, which we might well do need a hit. We might well want a dip in it. So we just sculpt it how we want it before we put the plaster on it. Make sure it's perfect, and that's really up. do to make hills. I mean yeah mine might not be the dog's bollocks but and it might not go with the uh, the back scene but it does make it look a lot more interesting. And it look better with the grass, the static grass, you know, all the stuff. And hopefully, it becomes well. It looks fairly realistic. A bit of that. So, not too happy with that piece there. So I'll see what I can do with it. Anyway, I'm going to do a bit more, and I'll just show you at the end. So my plan of action is to get to the signal, well get to there, sculpt the mould up to, you know, just a little bit that way, get the other bit done and then by the time I've made it down to here, that should be dry and get the tunnel mouth in and then I can start seeing that end and I can just, I can start seeing this end and just work my way up to here and then obviously I can do this one whilst we're waiting as well where the water looks green but it's really not green <coughs> so yes we've got a lot to do and I'm gonna leave it at that today so uh, be sure to come back and watch another Brickerton video um, oh I think I'll show you Did I showed you up here I think but I'll show you again. <coughs> yeah, be sure to come back and watch another Brickerton video. Um, as you can see, we've done quite a bit today. We've got the back scene put in. Uh, 
uh, which makes the whole layout look a lot more interesting and well it just looks good doesn't it so other than that thanks for watching and I hope to see you again next time uh, thanks for uh, I've already said that <laughs> anyway see you later guys enjoy